let's talk about active versus passive investment vehicles. Now it's very likely that you own some U.S. equity mutual funds, either that or you likely pick individual stocks on your own. Did you know that the average U.S. equity mutual fund charges about 1.3% in management fees per year? That means if you expect U.S. equities to increase about 8% per year, about 16% of your returns are getting eaten up by mutual fund fees. Now maybe you think your mutual funds will outperform over time. Well, I've used Google here and I've typed in percent of active managers that underperform. And here's what Google tells me. 60% underperform, 73%, 66.8%, 60%, 58%, 76 76% underperform. The numbers are staggering. On average, active managers underperform. Now, if your advisor has purchased active mutual funds for you, I would ask him or her this question. Name three active managers who have outperformed the S&P 500 over the past one, three, five, seven, or 10 year period, you decide, but don't use Google. Now there are managers who have outperformed, but if your advisor can't tell you who's outperformed in the known past, how can he or she claim to know who's gonna outperform in the future? 0.09%, that's what a US S&P 500 ETF charges. That's nine cents for every $100. ETFs are, on average, cheaper, they perform better, they're more diverse, and on average have lower taxes. We favor passive investment vehicles. It's time to invest smarter.